Good morning, everybody. I'm Mark Sigorski, CEO of DV, and we are here at DV Live in beautiful Cannes, France. Uh, it's been a wonderful morning so far. I'm here with Jan Lu, CEO of T-Vision. Uh, this morning, we're having a, a little uh, toast. A champagne toast to not only celebrate uh, the partnership that we recently launched with T-Vision, but also just to try a little of the grapes from the region here. This is a classic champagne, Veuve Clicquot. Um, that's uh, aromas of yellow and white fruits, vanilla, a little bit of brioche in there. So it's a nice way to start yeah, the morning. Sure. Cheers that again. Thank you there for inviting. Of course, of course. It's a breezy very, morning very here, nice so beautiful. hopefully we don't lose the glasses. That's true. All right. So as I mentioned, last week we announced a partnership with T-Vision. Um, there was a lot of work that went behind that. And, and kind of what are your thoughts on DV and, and why it was a good partnership and why it made sense for us to work together? Of course. So everybody's talking about attention, right? I think attention is not a new concept. It's important for marketing. But now we have the technology able to really measure eyes on screen attention, which is a breakthrough, which is great. However, in order to implement attention technology and metrics, we also need scale. Absolutely. We also need a great scalable product, which is something you guys are good at, right? You guys have been working with many, many, many brands and agencies. Yeah. So by marrying your channel and scale and great product and our great technology and matrix, I think that's a great partnership to bring attention matrix to more clients, to bring more impact and value to our ecosystem. Very great. I mean, that, we obviously are two biased partners here, but you know the, the magic of the, the accuracy of the T-Vision panel and the ability to kind of do cross-platform attention, which is critical, because advertisers no longer think of single medias. They think of their media buy, and that media buy is linear TV, it's connected TV, it's digital, it's everything. And I think the ability to track attention across all of those uh, is essential. Yeah, I would say especially on CTV and traditional TV, the traditional like a tag-based methodology, it's tough to collect a lot of data because TV is a, is a passive device, right? When you watch TV, you're not going to push button all the times, so it's much harder to collect data. That's why we do believe the panel-based solution on the CTV and TV, you can collect much more precise information from the panel yeah. and marry that with all the data you guys have. That's really the best, most comprehensive solution in the market. Yeah, and, and, and considering the CPMs that advertisers are paying for CTV, you know, having an in-depth knowledge of attention and metrics that are actually moving the needle, right, that actually make a difference, I think is critically important. And speaking of that, when you think of moving the needle, why is attention so relevant to actually driving an outcome? What's your take on that? Sure. So in terms of outcome, you have upper funnel matrix, lower funnel matrix, and the people have been measuring all of this for years. But we have to admit that for some brands, it's difficult to have one-to-one -one relationship across every single channel, right? For CPG brands, we just cannot track, okay, did I really buy this product today right. in the supermarket? We're not there yet. So that's why many brands would like to use attention as the proxy for the quality of media across every single channel. Yep. We do understand that attention correlates with every single brand matrix, sales, or other stuff. But the important thing is attention is actionable. You're also able to collect attention data in near real time. So it's much more easy to plan and activate. Yes. So I don't think attention can replace all other outcome matrix but it's much easier to plan, analyze, and activate using attention matrix. Yeah, it, it is definitely an incredibly complementary proxy um, for a lot of the other data that's been used for years, but one, it gets us that much closer um, to an actual outcome, and I think it's super valuable. Absolutely. So, so finally, wrapping up, speaking of attention, um, and TV and CTV, what are you paying attention to these days? What are you streaming? What are your shows? What do you love these days? So we actually, uh, Publish something new called um, T Vision Scoreboard. Yeah. So essentially, we we in that power score, we track all of the shows in our entire ecosystem, CTV and TV. But we're not focusing on pure volume. Right. Because if you use pure volume, those are the shows you have heard. Of, of course. course. We try to use the engagement and attention matrix. We also try to get relative score within each platform. 
essentially we try to find some little gem you never heard of right. but can be very interesting can be very popular i'm not going to say the actual show name okay you can just google tvision power score you'll, you'll come to our website you we update this every week and uh, i'm sure you'll find the show you want to watch excellent that's great well thanks for joining us this morning jan cheers cheers do this welcome to can thank you <laughs>